Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be doing a six hole match with Micah Morris. He is a incredible golfer. Gonna be a fun little match. I know everybody's been kind of wanting this, this match up. It's been a long time coming. I feel like, you know, it's, I've, I've had a lot of messages about it and I don't know if you have or not, but we're out here at Glen Eagles and I think it's, I think it's gonna be good. Six, yeah, six, six holes, holes, six holes. Anything can happen, man, it's six holes. So that's the beautiful part about this exactly. type of format. I think that this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's a great day, low wind. So this is about ball striking and knocking in some putts. This isn't, uh, Shouldn't be much luck involved. I mean, the Bermuda always throws stuff up in the air, but today it's gonna be fun. This is number one, Glen Eagles, King's Course. It's a 400 yard par four. It's a water hazard that comes across like 130, 40 yards out, 120 yards out, something like that. So I wanna be short of that. Pretty decent. Roll. Good shot. Should roll out there. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm going like, it's not quite a two iron. It's like right in between. It's like a, it's a four iron that's bent to 18 degrees, but it's shorter than a two iron. So there's a lot happening there, but this is about a 250 club. Yeah. Primo. Primo, baby. <laughs> you know shot. what that means? Primo? Yeah. First? Cousin. Cousin? Oh, really? Yeah. I thought Primo was it's like, Spanish. it's prime or something, you know, like first or. I haven't held a cart Kim like this since. Um, since Nam. Yeah, for a very <laughs> long time. I think we're both in the fairway. Should it, yeah. I feel like it's going to kind of be a, who can get it closer and make a putt today. I think so. This course, it's not, I, from what I remember, it's not that hard to get a ball in the fairway. It shouldn't be. I mean, it I mean, just depends on how you're hitting it, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it's got to be one, probably six. Five. Yeah, you can get one rolling through there pretty <laughs> pretty good and get into a bad spot. I feel like this is actually probably less than I thought it was. Oh, 162. 162. Well, I... Um, that is going to be basically a perfect nine for me with maybe a, a little bit into. So I'm going to try to hit the number. I feel pretty good about that. I'm going to start it right at that tarp, I think. Oh, that's way left. Stop. Get in the bunker for me. Get in the bunker for me. That might be okay. He got a big bounce. bounce to the right. Yeah, it did bounce to the right pretty hard. Yeah, that was just shut the face on it there. Okay, 158. A little closer. A little wind, cold. 165 shot for me. Ooh, that's right on it. That's it. Good shot. A little too hard. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely not a full wedge. That broke so much. Yeah, it did. Well, I guess since we're stroking it, we gotta we putting everything out. Oh yeah. All right. This thing is gonna be breaking. It's gonna be fairly quick. It's kind of downhill the whole way. <laughs> Just gonna pick a high point and see if I can get it there, and then let the slope take over. Go. All right, that's good. Okay, this should go a little right to left. Good putt. It was straight, so I was wrong. <laughs> I feel like uh, that's one thing that I'm learning a lot, especially with competitive golf, is nutrition is not really talked about enough. Well, it's not known enough. It's not like, known like, enough. Like, nobody knows actually what to do. Yeah, well that's, so I played in a tournament when we were in Florida two weeks ago, and I played really good on the front nine. I was a couple under par, I was swinging really well. And then I got the whole 13. I didn't really know really what happened until after the round was over, but I literally hit a wall. Yeah. Hole 13, I literally yeah, could that. not make a golf swing. I, mean, I started making really tired golf swings and I was like, what is going on? And I, I think that I probably wasn't experiencing the feeling of hunger because of like, I was trying to stay in the mindset of you know competing, but I, I didn't quite understand that. And I was like, I gotta take my nutrition more seriously when it comes to being on the course. This one's not a long one either, no, is it? No, it's 437. Ooh. Well, from back here, it's even far. It's 450. It's a driver for sure. Oh, we're going from the tip. The driver. <laughs> All right, Honda hole number two, 458. It's pretty straight away, actually. I feel like, I don't know what kind of shot shape Bryson is playing, but I'm gonna try to hit a little fade. I'm a drawer. You a drawer? Yeah. <laughs> no. Ah. 
That'll be interesting. All right, driver in hand. Try to hit a little fade right off of that guy standing in the fairway. Cut. That should be good. Good shot. Thanks. Yeah. All right, 169 Cobalt. Experiencing the Cobalt, dude. This is the best range finder I've ever had. Really? I can shoot things at 2,300 yards. Holy crap. Yeah, it's not a joke. 40, 140, 550. 50 shot. 69. It's going to jump. 10%, 16 yards. 55 shot. 54 shot. 145 shot. Jump 15 yards up and over this thing. Land it eight short. Let's spawn. Yep. I didn't jump. Putting. Yeah. Yeah, that one came out pretty normal, I would say. Yeah. You probably hit it 145. <laughs> Then you, 150 maybe? Yep, 145. All right, looks like I'm gonna have about 132. It's either gonna be a real, just a real firm 50 degree. I don't know how much these greens are spinning. If it spins, I'm gonna hit a P wedge. This is like what you want in this situation, but I gotta execute now. 134, I don't feel like they're spinning a ton. I'm gonna hit just a nice 50 degree. Oh, that's gonna be long, I pulled it. Nope. It's about pin high. It's got a little case of the lifts. Well, I got a little bit of a longer putt than I wanted. I had a huge clump of mud on it. I don't have anything to clean it with. That goes right. Wow. It's really good distance control. Good speed, just misread it completely. That's the thing with these greens. I can't see much break in these greens. They're just so flat. So I'm just going to putt this. I don't want to mess around into the grain chipping, just higher probability of putting it. So I'm just going to get on a good line here and then it's going to be moving to the right kind of the whole way. Get some wheels. Go just a little bit. Go. Good putt. <clears throat> good putt. Thanks. All right. If I can get my, my putts a foot past the hole, I think they'll start going in, but I got that fogel. I fear going long. Can't get over it. Maybe I'll ask Bryson about it. Yeah, this is a, this is a good hole. I feel like if you hit a good drive, you're, you always have a short, a short wedge in. I've never played the tips out, there, out here, so it's a little bit different, but it's pretty straightforward. I think that first bunker is probably carryable for both of us, I think. My depth perception has been known to be way off, so it could be like 300 yards, I'm like. What is it? I think that first bunker, I mean, oh, I haven't played it, yeah. Uh, I think it's like 270. I get kicked back right a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit a cut just off of that right side of that first bunker. Might be a little bit blocked out. Just overcooked it a little bit. All right, 111 in a bunker. I don't like bunker shots. These are my worst shots of the whole, in, in all of golf. So it's sitting down just a little bit. So I got to pick it and pinch it. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Oh, four. I told you it's my worst shot. Chase, if there's one thing that hadn't changed, is I still drop my gloves and I still don't know my left and right. It's just part of my part of my DNA makeup, I guess. I do. I need to capitalize on these. I'm at 83 yards. Got a good lie. It's a little bit fluffy, but it did roll through the bunker. I'm gonna hit a little 58 degree and try to carry it. Let me see how far. I want to try to get it just right to the front edge there. So I want to carry this like 74. Just high on the face. Dang it. Well, this is a result of the ball riding up the face and coming up 30 feet short, but try to just get something on the front edge, let it get rolling. Go, 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 go. All right, should be a pretty straight putt from there. Uh, that's a long one, 84 feet. They just keep getting longer and longer each hole, so I gotta do something about that. 
but I'm gonna play like a 50 footer here. It's 84 feet, 50 foot. Putt is what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling. That might need to settle. <laughs> it's like matted down. <laughs> they haven't moved this pin in a couple days. Okay. Not my best. Gotta make this though. Brook left. That's good. Why don't we got just a little bit of a read off of that? I think mine's gonna be me tapping down like that, tapping that down like it's gonna matter. Oh my oh, god. Are you kidding me? Well, that's not <laughs> that our best. That is wild. I thought that's I right. made that. It was per I, I, I mean, I hit it exactly where I was aimed. We're but. getting some weird circumstances going on right now. It's just. That's the beauty of golf. You can't have it all. Fourth hole, we're both we're both we're all we're all square. That last one, that one burns a little bit for me since I had 83 yards in there. But it is what it is. 177 yards. It's probably going to be a nice full eight iron for me. A little draw. You can play a little nine iron here. 177. You can play 180 shot. So just under a full. It's not what I wanted. And it's short. Mm. Just a little bit. All right, I got a nice, well, it's a stock eight iron with a draw, so hopefully it just adds just a, a couple yards. Oh no, I skinnied it. That's gonna be in the water. Go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we'll just, just put right you right here. there. Yeah, there's a little drop zone here. Yep. I don't think that fence is in the way, but <laughs> I gotta make this if I wanna, if I wanna, this is for three, so. Big bounce. All right. Well, I got a putt for a bogey. I need to make that just so I can, you know, stay what? somewhere right in it. going to the last two holes. There's a par five you know next. Me. No, hit it and you have it. Mm. Goodness gracious. All right, I need this. Keep me one Come on, knock here. it in. It's gonna be breaking. Oh, that was a good roll. Thanks. That's good. All right, that's a double for me. Bryson is two up with two to play. A little mistake off the tee there. Um, cost me two shots, but it is what it is. Got to move on, got to leave it there. This next hole is kind of interesting. Yeah, I feel like you can cut, you kind of cut something off of it oh, yeah. if you hit it far enough. I can't believe one of us hadn't made a birdie yet. Dude, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> I feel like it's impossible oh, no. to make a putt on these greens though. Oh, great ball. I good? It looks perfect, I think. Cool. All right, I'm gonna try to do something similar except I'm gonna be working it the other way. A little cut? Yeah, a little cut. It's a little kind of my, cut? It's kind of my standard shot shape. Stop. That's going to be in that bunker. I don't know. Did it fly it? Might have flew it. Well, it didn't hit that tree, which is good. So that I think I'm going to be okay. Well, looks like mine, got, mine carried. Some real estate between these balls, man. Yeah, you got it all the way up there, dude. Yeah, I uh, thread the needle. That was, a, that was a pretty good one. So it's 260, four iron. Let's see if I can get this thing there. I'm going to actually go after one now. Oh, just in the bunker, just short. That was beautiful, though. It's a good shot. I feel like that's about all you can ask out of a four iron there. Not bad. I mean, yeah. if I'm in, you know, game time, like that's your, three that's weeks, stock shot. my four iron goes 265. Yeah. Really, it'll fly 265. Wow. It's time for me to make up some ground here. I need to, I need to capitalize on this. I should be, hopefully, about 210, 218. Go through my sweat right here. I'm gonna hit five because that's all I have. Should be pretty good. I'm gonna try to just put a nice swing on a five iron. Hit it at the center of that bunker, it should draw. That's a stock job for me. Sit. 
Got an eagle putt. You never know. Crazier things have happened. I make that. Bryson messes around and makes a five. It's gonna be real crazy going into the last hole. That was a great shot in there by Micah. I gotta get this up and down. He has to miss. So I have a nice cushion going into the next. All right, it's a good shot. Not bad. Well, this is a must make for me if I want any chance. It's gonna be moving quite a bit. Just get it to the hole though, that's my goal. I hit it through it, way Sit. through it. I wasn't gonna leave that one short. I'll give that to you because I'm nice. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I could have been. I could have been that guy. I could have been that guy. I believe I would have made it either way. But there's a birdie. This would be for Bryson to to stay two up going at the last hole. Perfect. There we are. Hey, we made birdies. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> After five holes. Five holes. Hey, we're warming up. Okay, we only had ten minutes to warm I'm up. I'm too no down. No excuses though. To Bryson. Go. We got one hole left to play. I believe it's a shorter par four, if my memory is correct. Last hole, I'm two down. I still, I gotta stop thinking about that par three. That really just got me all up in arms towards myself. But this one is a very interesting hole. You can't really hit more than, I got two iron. Two, you might wanna hit it like 300. I'll probably hit this like 270, hit a little draw, but. Bryson just didn't wood. make any any mistakes. Well, oh, uh, third hole. Yeah, we both had a bogey, but that I was... didn't really give myself that many opportunities uh, yeah. either, except in the last hole. Last hole was great. So that's how you should play at par five. If you don't get it onto the green next to the hole, like 15 feet, like you <laughs> get it up and down like a stock standard. Okay, close to the green, get it up and down. No, I'm kidding, joking. I did that so much to players last last couple of years just because of the length. I'd be hitting like driver nine iron in there and driver four iron mm -hmm. or hybrid in. And they're like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's it just, different. It, it screws people's minds. It's one of the greatest tactics you can have, but you still got to play good golf. Like, yeah. it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. <clears throat> like there? I healed it, but it went that straight. All right, two iron for me. Just hitting a little draw. Right off of that really big tree you see just over the car path. Yeah, that should be perfect. Ah, uh, get down. I hope it's in the fairway. I kind of wanted, I wanted a little bit more full wedge in there, but it is 400 yards, so that might be a little more than I was, than I was wanting. Just get me in the fairway, that's all I'm gonna be blocked out by that oh, tree. Never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. What a day. Bryson, thanks for having me on the channel. Yeah, no, I thank feel like you. this is awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Let us know. I, I have I have an idea that I feel like it'd be fun to do some two V twos. Oh yeah. Um, absolutely. With me, you, Grant, and whoever. Mm -hmm. uh, Chase, I think Chase would be, Chase, a, would be a good one. All those guys um, love doing that. And that, that would just be really high level competitive golf. And for me, that's that's like where I, that's what I love the most. There's one. I think I think mine's in the rough, yours is in the center. Oh, okay. Bryson's in the center, I am just off the edge. Just needed a couple more bounces. Hopefully I'm not blocked out by this tree. I think I'm gonna have to get a pitching wedge, man. 150 on the dot, I, it's gonna be a pretty strong pitching wedge. This lie is going to be really funny. I hope it, I'm gonna probably aim just a little left of it, kind of at Hudson. I don't wanna get too aggressive, but see if I can finish with a birdie. That looks like it's got to go. Oh, two balls that in the water. Come out, spinny. What? Spinny. I think so. There was a. I mean, I don't really know how to play that type of lie, but it was. Aggressive. I gotta help you out with that. Well, it, it was Love like to talk about sitting it. down, and it didn't look like it was gonna be a flyer, but I think there was a bunch of grass between the ball. Okay, I got 116, guys. It's a little cold. I'm gonna play like a 120 shot. I really want to stuff this one. It'll be about a 10 o'clock, 53 degree. Is it gonna sit? Oh no, okay. Oh, good shot. I pushed it a little bit, but that worked. Right there, I'm not thinking about like short or long or anything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's literally about, okay, I need to take it back this far with this much energy and go through. Cl close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Now grip it. Can you feel it? I think so, yeah. Where is it pointed? Down to the left, or straight down, yeah. So it's open, <laughs> or it's completely down, yeah. sorry. 
So, so what I mean is, is that, yes, okay, you have the feeling of where that is in, your, in the handle too, but there's also how your body is orientated to itself. Mm -hmm. So like if I'm, if I'm in mid-range all the time, I, c I have that to play with. How do I gauge where the face is when I've got that much room to play with? So if I go internal, external, and I'm here against this, this wall, I've got pressure now to where I can't overclose it if this thing is held internal. So you start gaining a pr like a pressure gauge mm -hmm. that allows you to know where the club face is at all points in time. So if I was to set that up, and I'm not telling you to change your golf no, swing no. at all. I'm here for this. Because it's all dependent upon what feels good for you. Mm -hmm. Like relax your arm. There's ways to move your body that allow you to know where the club is in space at all times with a high degree of repeatability. Mm -hmm. A high degree of sensitivity. Yeah. I literally get lined up, set up, line up. I get over the ball and I make a swing that I sense. I could literally close my eyes and make the same motion. So I hit a lot of golf balls with my eyes closed because I want reality to match my feels. Yeah, that's so. so interesting. Bryson is obviously one of the best in the world, so to hear that is is super interesting. I, I think there's, well, I don't think, I know there's ways that he could help me improve my game probably by a ton. All right, well, here we are. This is kind of my last shot of the day. Maybe go out with something special, hit a little, little zipper in there or something. Probably got about 60 yards maybe. It's very unfortunate, the last, the two shortest holes out here, I just kind of messed them up, but here we go. Oh, that was a great shot. Mm. Thanks. I know, I almost, I almost made it. All right, so I've got a 12 footer, 11 footer actually. One, two, three. No, it's 12 feet. I'm going right to left. It's gonna be one inch, two inches outside the hole. That ain't good. Oh, wow, that's, that's not good. Should go a little right to left. Knock it in, shoot one under through six. Really good. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. That's a great way to finish. Oh, I like that. Let's see what you got. Knock it in. Mine should be moving just a little bit left. That away. Ooh. Good putt. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. We're going to awesome. do it again. Yeah, let's thanks, do it again for sure. Yeah. Be... Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks. I, I said it, I I said can... it, but thank you to Bryson for having me on the channel. Um, love what he's doing, and I'm excited to do some, some 2v2s in the future. So we got some cool stuff planned. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, if, I mean, if, this, if you, if you, you haven't done to. after this, yeah. what does it take? And to Micah's channel. We're going to be playing another match. You'll, you'll see another six holes on his channel. So go check it out, subscribe to him, hit the notification button so you can watch some cool, fun content whenever uh, we post.